Moving on uh, to a query that's coming through email, Amit writes in to say that he has an annual CTC of 5.5 lakh rupees. His wife's CTC, Subra, is 4.1 lakh rupees. He wants to know how much loan can he avail to buy a home. What is the formula to calculate loan, loan eligibility? Something like 35% of your take-home pay is what they will want you to pay as an EMI. So, assuming on a 5 lakh salary, which is about 40,000 rupees, your take-home pay should be about 25,000 rupees to 30,000 rupees. So, your repayment has to be about 20,000 rupees a month, including your wife's maybe about 25,000 rupees a month, which means a loan of about 20 to 25 lakhs is what you will get. So you will get a like uh, you will get a loan of about 20 lakhs to 25 lakhs but subra uh, and this is something i keep asking you again and again time and again in fact 35% uh, is what the banks are willing to lend you 35% uh, uh, what mm -hmm. what you know when you talk about loan eligibility yeah how much emi can i take uh, should i be actually taking on as a person uh, basis my income no, see, this is very difficult to say. Like, suppose his uh, father is a rich man and, you know, father can support him in case of an emergency and there's nobody dependent on him, etc. Then he can obviously go the full length. But if parents are dependent on him and he's a huge expense, he's earning 100 rupees a month and he's spending 70 rupees, he's going to find it very difficult to do a 30 rupee repayment because one month if that 70 becomes 75, he will not have enough money to repay. So it's a question of your own circumstances, uh, what kind of a job you have. You have a very good job, you are sure that you will get it. What happens if the job is not so great and the company comes and says, this month we are cutting your salary by 20%, then what happens? Will you have enough cash flow? So you need to have enough cushion and that is from person to person. So a person who is earning, ex and the percentage will also matter. No? If a person is earning a crore and a half, his percentage can be much higher than a person earning a lakh and a half because a lakh and a half guy also has to eat, a guy earning a crore and a half also has to eat. So obviously some basic expenses have to be met. So this guy will find it very difficult to repay. That guy will find it very comfortable. So it's on a case-to-case -case basis. This is but broadly what say the 30, bank will 30-35% give. is what you should be paying as EMIs? All the EMIs put together? Yeah, all the EMIs put together. So if you have a car loan, if you have a personal loan and all that, all that put together should be that much. But that will also be tight. You have to remember then it will be very tight. You cannot say, I'm bus late, okay, I'm going to the auto. It can be that tight. And you don't, you may not, if you don't want it to be that tight, you should take a smaller loan. Right, and also what you need to remember is that if you are planning to take a home loan, calculate the EMI that you're willing to pay, uh, basis the home loan eligibility that you have, and all, remember to keep a set aside at least three months worth of EMI in the bank so that uh, you are taken care of in case there is a problem, like uh, Subra just said, your, your salary doesn't come in, or uh, you lose your job, or you quit, or you want to quit your job, you have the freedom to do so. You can watch live TV on our website, mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic bricks now.